They are souvenirs of the revolution. Come to protest and don't leave without getting your picture snapped. For me, this photo is a memory. It's for my children and the next generation. It is the proof that we kicked out a regime of 30 years and that we continue to demand civilian rule. This photo tells our story. These protesters have already brought down a president. Now they're asking what comes next. Every evening, thousands of people flock here to throw around ideas about the country's future. Our revolution isn't finished yet. What we are building here in this sit-in must be spread throughout the whole society. I'm talking about values like tolerance. We aren't done until those values reside in every house in Sudan. And how can you spread those values? Through books, of course. Politics and history texts have been heavily censored in Sudan for years now, but tonight they're out for anybody to browse. We call it the Republic of the Sitin. Here you have all components of society, all classes too. But outside the Sitin, freedom hasn't arrived yet. The regime is still lingering. The battle for Sudan's future is far from over. The military still wields enormous power and the opposition is already splintered. But here, people are optimistic. From this sit-in, the heart of the revolution continues to beat.